What's going on guys? My name is Walid. This is a video you do not want to miss, especially if you want to get into fashion photography and you want to get into photographing models. Today's model is James. He is brand new. In fact, this is his first ever photo shoot and I'm going to show you how I move him along and get him very comfortable plus about a dozen other tricks along the way. So you want to watch every single second of this video and at the end I have a bonus for you. I'm going to show you some of the final images and I'm actually going to show you the camera settings that I used so you at least get to see some of the recipe for this. So let's watch a quick intro and let's get on with it. Guys, you can find a model any place. I found James in jury duty, but you can find them on Instagram, at school, at the supermarket, at the mall, um, any place. So, and I picked him because he has a very unique look. I want to show you guys, a lot of you guys are saying, well, I'm not in LA, I'm not in New York, or Miami, or Chicago. You can find models pretty much anywhere. So I found James in jury duty and I told him and I said, as photographers, you guys have to be brave too. Just go up to people. You go up and you're like, hey, you have a really good look. You should do modeling if, if you ever considered it. And I told him that. He said, actually, he's thought about it, but he just doesn't even know what to do. I want to shoot in a way that all of you guys can shoot. So um, no more, I'm not in New York and LA excuses. No more, I don't have expensive stuff. You can borrow a camera. You can go to like one of those rental websites. I'll mention their names when they sponsor me. Okay, here's a golden rule about locations. They should not steal from the photo shoot and they should make you feel comfortable and the model. So we're shooting here in Chino Hills. I try to shoot away from Los Angeles as much as I can because they want ridiculous film permits, which I'm not about to pay for that. So we're doing a skate park here and um, he has a certain look and I have a certain agency in mind for him. Gear. Okay guys, Canon 5D Mark II, not the latest, but still a very good camera. One lens, no lights, no reflector, no bounce, no assistant. I did it, you can do it too. I'm using my 5D Mark II. You don't need the latest and greatest. I use that, I use my 2470 Canon lens. I love this lens. It's probably my most used lens. I use it for the most for fashion. Actually anything and everything. Um, this, my loop, you put it in the back and when it's really sunny, you get to see the image super sharp. So that's important. When you gotta look at their eye, you gotta look at the small details. Um, that's very beneficial. Here's the golden rule for uh, wardrobe with the new model. Just make sure it doesn't steal away from them. They are the ultimate product. So basics, solids, things that will not also expire. Did you bring other clothes with you also so I can look at it? Or uh, I brought like a shirt. Two can shirts I see it just so we know what's set up first? Great t-shirt. I have another nice. one though with nothing on it. Another great t-shirt. Perfect. You guys uh, shoot models, just make them bring different clothes. With James, what I did is I texted him, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 images of um, models that I like what they're wearing, and that's it. So he brought a few choices. If this works for all of it, we'll just keep this on, but at least I know that he has like black jeans and a gray shirt, and that's it. Nothing big. I think that the big thing with models is make sure they are themselves. You know, they don't feel foreign in the... Um, and the clothing that they wear, which happens in a lot of photo shoots, and you just look all stiff, so it just has to be him, and that's how he'll best present himself. For the camera settings, it, this is a starting point. You can adjust to your own. Actually, a lot of the pictures end up being f-stop 7.1, but let's just watch and see what I think I'm gonna be using. So we're gonna go ahead and start now. So I'm going at a 6.3. I think anything, maybe 5.6 is the lowest I would go in this situation because when you go uh, lower f-stop, so what usually happens is I might get his nose in focus and then his eye will be a little bit off focus. But when you're at 5.6 or 6.3, I'll have a higher chance of getting his eyes in focus. So I'm doing that. And I want it to be blurry just enough where he separates from the background, but at the same time, I can still see what the background is. And Kelvin, I'm gonna go a 6,000. It's pretty accurate for me. I eyeball it, I don't do a light meter. Just, you guys learn to eyeball. It develops your skills. Uh, 
the dumber you feel, the better you look. Okay, so like, if you feel stupid, that the picture probably is gonna look good. And that's just the, the golden rule of that. I'm gonna shoot you three quarter, okay? So you can just hang right here. I want you to actually lean on something just because even though I won't see it, mm -hmm. it's gonna, you, I want you to anchor something just makes you feel more comfortable. Yeah. And um, I'm not even gonna see the board yet. We're just gonna do portrait. So right here? Yeah. Yeah. So the same way? Um, why don't you look towards this camera right okay. there for a sec. There is a little bit of a shadow on the nose. That's fine. Can you look up half of an inch? Come back down. Okay. So this is a good light. We're just gonna shoot here. Finding the angles, you guys, you have to do this every single shoot. It's going to increase the number of excellent shots that you guys get. Um, by the way, if you guys are learning a lot, comment below. I read every comment, I reply to every single one. So definitely engage, please. Okay, let me have you look at this pole right here. And then let me have you look towards the freeway. Shoot a few. I'm gonna shoot a few around you. Just keep moving around, and then what we'll do is we'll stop, and I'll review the pictures, and I'll say this is great. Don't do this, but do more of that, and then that's how you. Okay. So just go ahead. So we're gonna go one, two, and look, so I get that motion. One. Oops. One, two, and look. Good. Let's do that a little bit faster of a whip of the neck. Ready? And one, two, look. And then let me have you look down, like towards my shoes. And then look up towards the sun, kind of. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure I get all of his angles, and I see where his strong, uh, the strong side is, and how he looks. And then you have to make a quick decision what his strong side is. He has a really strong profile, so we're gonna make sure we capture some of that. And what I like about James's face is that you could look Middle Eastern as a heard probably your whole life. Um, but you are half Mexican, half black. Yep, but there's a lot of other races you can throw in there, so that's what's great about it. Okay, for the sun, one, two, shoot. One, two, shoot. That's the formula that I use. If you don't do it, what'll happen is you'll get red eyes from the model, or even worse, their makeup will run. So give him a break and cut it into pieces. What we're gonna do is because his eyes are so uh, light and it's light sensitive, we're gonna go one, two, open. I'm gonna try to get two pictures in that shutter, but we'll get at least one and then he'll close his eyes again. One, two, open. And he has um, stronger eyelashes, longer eyelashes, so it's extra difficult to, you know, to get that focus in there, but we'll get it. One, two, open. Good. Just assume your eyes are gonna be closed until I tell you open, okay? One, two, open. Good. One, two, open. One, two, open. Good. Big, 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 big section. Always review the pictures in the back of the camera. There's two things that'll come out of this. Number one, you're going to multiply the number of excellent images you will have. And number two, you are not going to have the surprise of them seeing the final gallery and looking at you going, like, what the hell, man? I'm not gonna do looking down as much, and I want you to see why, is because we're gonna start getting the shadows that under your eyes, right? So we'll eliminate that. Yeah, but I almost feel like looking this way, mm -hmm. this is your stronger side. Do you prefer the right side? And yeah. pictures? Yeah. Our, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's the right side. Yeah, okay. So you just know, if don't go by anything more than your instincts, like this one looks good and then just stick to it. So we're gonna go, we're gonna favor heavy on the right side and straightforward. But I mean, the left side is not bad either. Just if I have to pick one. Other ones are right off the bat. I can just say, cause like you just connect with the camera, with the viewer right off the bat, mm -hmm. okay? That's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but this is definitely your stronger yeah. side, okay? So now, like, see, these are, okay, your face looks great. Mm -hmm. Now the body's a little stiff, so what we'll do is maybe put your hands in your jacket mm -hmm. or just work what you have already, you know, just a little, okay? Okay. Um, same thing, these are, these are fine, even if I was to just go and, like, crop them, mm -hmm. I think you look great. So when we look straight forward, mm -hmm. um, just moving forward, let's do this. I know that this is the beginning, and they're actually great for beginning. Mm -hmm. But what uh, we're gonna do is either look at me, give me, an, make me feel a certain way, either threatened by you or mesmerized by you. Just either 
give me some emotion instead of deadpan, okay? Um, so, and if usually, like if you're shooting with a photographer, if you see them clicking, it's okay to kind of go on your own and go, okay, so you got that, I'm gonna do it again with a smile this time. I'm gonna do it again, looking a little bit meaner, okay? Uh, freedom, we all love freedom. So as you progress throughout the shoot, as they get comfortable with you and themselves, let them expand, let them be them. The more they are themselves, the better your pictures are gonna become. I just wanted this guy skating at the park, but he has a certain look, so you're definitely giving that, but now let's play with the jacket a little. And, um, and I'm not saying like, you know, like Sears catalog where you pop the collar, just literally hands in the jacket and just relax, okay? Right, use this too, so use the jacket and use this as a prop, stand up on it, I will keep adjusting to you. I'm letting him just take over and I said look at uh, me 30% of the time. He's more comfortable now, his, if you just look his shoulders have dropped, um, so he feels more comfortable which is great and then you'll never hunt, but they'll never 100% be comfortable. That you'll never get there, not even the supermodels feel that way. But so this is your frame now. So just remember like now the legs count. And it's really important to tell your models where you are going. Because a lot of times they're, if they're newer, they're nervous, right? So if I'm just shooting a real tight headshot, he has the freedom of just fidgeting with his watch or shirt or whatever. But now three quarters of his body is in frame. You just tell the model, give him that courtesy so that they know how to give you the best picture. Shoot direction or direction of the shoot, it is always, always important to know why you are having the shoot. In this case, we're trying to get James signed with a modeling agency, so that is the mission statement of the shoot, and all pictures need to lead to a successful mission. The whole point of the shoot, so you have to always ask yourself, what is the purpose of the shoot? Am I, is it an ad for a jacket or jeans, or is it an ad for him? In this case, it's an ad for him because we want him to get signed to an agency. So what an agent really wants to say is, what if he has an ugly back of the head? Like they want to know that, right? So I'll shoot, I'll shoot him a little bit at an angle. If he's just relaxed, this allows me to move around him and uh, just get different angles as he's more relaxed, that's it. Um, some of the final images you guys are here right up next remember these are what I use there is no right or wrong but they are a good starting point for you 